us to bless God. Let's thank Him. The Lord, I thank you for this evening. Let's be intentional this evening. Let's be uh, aware of every spiritual possibilities. Because the place of worship, the place of praise, is also a place of warfare. It's also a place of liberation, a place of deliverance, a place of blessings. Sometimes what prayers could not do, fasting could not do, praises. It. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. This evening, the Lord, I thank you for being here. The Lord, I thank you for being here in the name of Jesus. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. The Lord, I thank you for being here. And I want us to be here physically, be here spiritually. Be here physically, be here spiritually. Shut down every word in your mind. The Bible says the Lord is in his temple. Let the whole heart be silent. Let's thank God, the Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for what you will do tonight in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's thank him, the Lord, I thank you. I thank you in the name of Jesus. I thank you in the name of Jesus. The Lord, I worship your holy name. Let's thank him. Lord, I thank you. You can sit, you can stand, but just be connected. Avoid distractions. The Lord, I thank you for what we do in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. I want us to pray that Lord tonight have your way in my life. We are here to sing, we are here to praise God. We are here to praise God and in an atmosphere like this, you know, just you have to be sensitive. You have to be intentional. You have to know what you are doing. Uh, because when, so when praise goes up, blessing comes down. But more than that, you know, praises, sounds in the spirit are very powerful. The wall of Jericho came down with a shout, with a sound. The Holy Ghost came down on the day of Pentecost through sounds. It says that it was a sound like of a rushing mighty wind. And every one of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. The dry bone in Ezekiel 37, the valley of dry bones, they become life. They were soldiers. They were armies. They have become dead. They no longer have life in them. They no longer had hope. Everything had ended for them. Nothing was going on for them. They became a living soldier through sound. I said there was a sound. He said, and speak. And there was a shaking, and there was a sound. And flesh came unto them, and sinew came unto them. And they stood up like a mighty soldier. So I'm just saying this, you know, 
for us to be aware that it's not just the jamboree that we are here for, not just, but the spiritual be involved. Let your spirit, soul, and body be here. So let's pray that Lord have your way in my life this evening. In the, that let every sound that will be projected here today be a blessing to me. Let every sound that will be delivered here today be a blessing to me. Let it be a liberation to me. Let it be, let it be deliverance unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord, let every sound that will project here today, that will come out here today, let it change my life for good. Let every issue, every stubborn issue that have, that have remained adamant, sound, praise can break it. He says the wall of Jericho was so thick. They were so bold. They were so confident in their defense, in that defense mechanism, that they, without wall, no nation can conquer them. And every nation have attempted. There is no technology that can break down that wall. But there is a technology in the spirit, sound. And they shouted, and the wall sunk. It went down. The Lord tonight, as the sound will be projected, let every wall of Jericho bow. Let my life not remain the same in the name of Jesus. Can we turn down to prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus. The Lord tonight, under this atmosphere, Father Lord, have your way. Under this atmosphere, Lord, let my life not remain the same. Under this atmosphere of spiritual sound, under this atmosphere of worship and praise. Lord, let every yoke be broken. Let every battles be won. Let every, let every trouble be settled. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, under this atmosphere of worship and praise tonight, Lord, have your way. Father, have your way. In the name of Jesus, that Lord, let my life not remain the same. Let every long issues be settled in the name of Jesus. Let every long issues be settled in the name of Jesus. Let every long issues be settled in the name of Jesus. Let every long issues be settled in the name of Jesus. That Lord have your way tonight in my life. Lord touch me. Let me not go back home the same way I came. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me not go back home the same way I came. In the name of Jesus Christ. David was a man after God's heart. He understands music. He knows how to touch the heart of God. He knows what sounds is. The Lord lets my life not remain the same tonight. In the name of Jesus. Let my life not remain the same tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord have your way. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name. We give you all the praise and honor and adoration. Father, we pray this evening, Lord, that even as we'll be singing unto you, as we'll be praising and worshiping you, Lord, let your glory come down in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your glory come down in the name of Jesus. The word says, the height is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It says, the world and they that dwell therein. Lord, this evening we pray that let every gate be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, me shatana. Lord, let every everlasting doors be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have your way in our midst in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way in our midst in the name of Jesus. Let no living soul that steps into this place today go back the same way in the name of Jesus. Lord, let there be liberation in Jesus' name. Let there be salvation in the name of Jesus. 
Let there be deliverance from every oppression, any kind of oppression of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every wall of Jericho fall in the name of Jesus. Father, let our life not remain the same in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name. Father, we give you all the praise. Let's lift those hands to God and begin to worship him. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Can we echo that? You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. I just want us to. way of worship the templates that is already in your mindset the Bible says and on that day they that will worship the father will worship him in spirit and in truth John 4 24 so as we worship tonight focus on God and your life will not remain the same you are worthy Oh! 
thank you, Lord, for being able to be in the name, in the presence of the Lord again one more time on this Friday night. Lord, we just thank you for everything that you have done for us and what you're about to do for us. Lord, we just thank you for fighting our battles, battles that's not ours, that's yours. And we just want to lift your name to the highest, Hosanna in the highest, the highest. And we just want to let your name be glorified. Amen.
been in the hospital. No, but it made us walk out. It made us walk out. You know, sometimes I think like the hospital is just like the lion's den. Because you don't know if you'll come out or not. You don't know what they're giving you. They just tell you they're giving you something. And we trust them that they're giving us something good. He had to make us come out. Even our kids, we take care of them. Do we, we don't even know what makes them grow. We have to feed them. Those things, many have taken and died. There are many places we've been to. There are many COVID infected things we've taken. But he has kept us. Because he has not opened our eyes to sleep. We think it's by doing. But it's by his mercy that we were not consumed. That the predictions of man has not come to pass over our lives. Oh, we are the one that you have shown your mercy. And we are grateful you have shown us mercy. Oh, you have shown us mercy. Oh, we are grateful for this. Oh, we are the one that you have shown mercy. Oh, you have shown mercy. Can we sing it one more time?
lifespan can never praise God enough. Even for the things, when we look back right now, for the things that he has done, the length of our lives, even till the end, from the beginning to the end, cannot thank him enough. And that's what the song is saying. The whole of our life cannot thank him enough for all that he has brought us to, not the ones that we are yet to see, but the ones that he has done already. It's only the things that we see that we know. What about the ones that didn't show us?
what you deserve. Where I come from, when you say Oshua, it's like you're paying homage. Like you're just giving what he deserves. It's just him. It's ease. You can't, you can't contend with him. It is all ease. That's what he means. The one that holds all the power, the almighty. So we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. All that only you can take. the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. That, that is too cool. Praise the Lord. Um, I want to call forth um, Pastor Mrs. Tineke uh, Asundele for the introduction of this. Uh, can we please put our hands together? many of us are, the blessings are coming already. You know, like I said earlier, I said sound. You know, we have to be intentional when we are under the atmosphere of sound, of worship. Sounds are not just sounds, but sounds, they are vehicles that where spiritual realities are transported to bring things from the spirit. And sounds are the, are the, are the place that brings them. When you see whether the uh, diability word or the divine word, there's always a sound that projects to bring forth a manifestation. And I pray that as we are here, um, we will not leave empty handed in Jesus' name. And that every sound that is projecting shall touch our life in every area in the name of Jesus. You know, the wall of Jericho was brought down with a sound, with a shout. The valley of the dry bones become, became living soul through the sound. And as we are intentional this evening, I pray again that our life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Over to you now. Shall we join our hands? Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, come on, put a, a smile on that face. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Put a smile on your face. Tell somebody, put a smile on your face. It is a blessing to see beautiful faces in the house. That's why the pandemic. Let me tell you, could you believe, uh, I, we do like, uh, we have a meeting, it's like infection control. And then after this meeting, they were giving statistics, you know, of how many people over the world have died. Millions of people. Millions. And this could be like a whole nation, a whole village or some country from that number. Like this number of people that have died belong to like a country. Let's say a small country. 
But here we are still standing. Say, here I am still standing. Here we are still standing is only by the grace of God. It is only by what? The grace of God. So today I want you to be intentional. I want you to be what? Intentional and make your praise personal. Make it what? Personal. Because out of millions, out of trillions of people, the Lord has preserved us. That song where Sister Fumi said that, I am the one that you have shown mercy. I am the one out of trillions of people. I am the one not only because he delivered you from pandemic, but because of his love, because of his tender mercies, because every day he is watching, he is watching and watching and watching. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise because he is worthy. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. So, like I was talking to Brian Yomi over the weekend, or last Sunday, I told him jokingly, I said, let's rent people that can dance. You know me, I joke a lot. We're not renting people that can dance. You are the one that we dance. So I hope that you have a dancing shoe on and you're ready to take it up, okay? Praise, praise the Lord. Forget about everything you brought here. It's a praise night. Is a what? Is a praise night. You know, sometimes um, I'm not really into sport, especially the football here in America. I could watch it over and over. I don't know which is the winning side. I don't know which is the losing side. I'll just watch for entertainment. But you know, sometimes when you're watching, or even let's say soccer, soccer, I understand. When you're watching your winning side, what do you do? Your attitude change, right? How many of us are on the winning side this evening? I am on the winning side. We are all on the winning side for being alive. For all that he has done, we are on the winning side. So let your attitude what? Change. Let your attitude what? Change. I'm not here to hype you, taking that back. But think of what God has done. It deserves all the glory. Shall we all rise up as we invite the next minister? Shall we all rise up and give them a hand offering? Our next minister is going to be Minister Esther Adewumi. Praise, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord is good. And all the time, today is a praise night, right? So I just wanted to share a quick testimony. Um, the devil has been sticking up his ugly head in my family. I actually just got married October. Um, please say thank you to my husband right there. Thank you so much, baby, for supporting my ministry. Thank you. You know, some people, they get married and their ministry dies. And that was my fear <laughs> when I was single, so... I appreciate you. Um, so this thing just happened two days ago, and I was like, Ugh, should I call and cancel? But something in me told me, no, you should go and praise the Lord. When things go wrong, who is to go to? We're supposed to go to God. Hallelujah. And the word that the Lord gave me was that all things work together for those. All things work together for good for those who love the Lord. So it might not seem good in your eyes right now. But that is the point of faith and trust in God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So the song that God gave me, you know, when I was sing when I was going through whatever. So you'll just join me in this quick worship song and then we'll <laughs> we'll praise. Hallelujah. Oh my life, you have been faithful. You all can help me. Sing all my life, all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, all my life, you have been so, so good. You
put our hands together for Jesus. Let's thank him for what he is doing in our lives. You know, when we praise the Lord, the devil is ashamed. He's afraid because he throws different things in our lives. He expects you to be discouraged. He expects you to be heartbroken. When we, when we, go, be, be, when we, go, when we go beyond ourselves and we begin to just praise God, even in that pain, mighty things happen. Even greater things that we even think is happening. Hallelujah. I'm just going to sing a couple of worship songs and I'll be out of your way. Hallelujah. As far as the heavens stand, stand above the earth, you are exalted. Unlimited God, as far as the heavens stands, it stands.
praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Can you, can you give the Lord a clap offering? He is worthy. He is ageless, changeless. He is ageless, he's changeless. Oh, wow. You're just warming up. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Wow, my sister, my brother, we thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Adegoke. Actually, they should be on honeymoon right now because technically honeymoon is one year. Thank you. The Lord will increase you. You go higher and higher in the name of Jesus. Beyond your expectation, the Lord said you have not seen nothing yet. It's a new chapter for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not stand among me men in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us come for them. Let us give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know there are people joining us on uh, Facebook. I know there are people joining us um, on uh, Spreaker. There are also people joining us on Zoom and some social media, you know, out there. We welcome you all and some that are new in the house also. We welcome you. This is for Christ Evangelical Ministry Solution Center, place where it is happening. It is what? Happening. It is what? Happening. What is happening? Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I tell you, as you are here, you are not going back the same. Just like I said, we just warmed up. We just what? Warmed up. <laughs> we just warming up. So don't be in a hurry to go. We have snacks. We have drinks. So, you know, if you still want to tell some people, you know, still come in. This is where I am. This is where it's happening. There, where God is doing signs and wonders. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. You know, when the praises go up, what comes down? Blessing. So don't praise God based on your circumstances. Hallelujah, somebody. Don't praise him because all is well. Because it is what it's easier to do that, right? But when you praise him even through the labor, you praise him through the pain, you push through the pain, you push through all that agony, and then you sing it out. The praises come louder. The praises come as what? Louder. I don't know what you may be going through, and you just feel like, you know what? I don't know. I just don't know. He is God. He's the same God in the valley. He's the God in the mountain. He changed yet not. That song says he's changeless. He's ageless. He's the almighty. He's alpha and omega. He is going through it right there with you. He said, you go through the fire, it will be with you. You go through waters, it will be with you. I don't know who has this word, but I know it is for someone. Actually, that is not my assignment, but I just had to push it out because it's just right in me. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. I don't know, for some of us, uh, we were raising, getting some donation for scarves, for, uh, you know, gloves, meetings, you know, just for the homeless, just to help our community. Because that is what we stand for. As a ministry, you have to reach out to your community. So if you have this, you can, you know, give me at the end of the service. We have a box in the back. And, you know, if you plan on giving it to us, anytime you are welcome to have it. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Can we give a clap offering to our choir over here? Praise, praise the Lord for our instrumentalists over here. You can do better than that. Come on now. I can't, when I came in, the sound was like, whoa. It's like, where, where did I just walk into? Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. It is time for our Father in the Lord to um, minister and give us word, you know. We sing, we dance, but then the word has a special place. The word of God has what? A special place. Uh, we, we, it's a full package tonight. It's a full package. Can we put our hands together and can we all stand as we welcome Pastor Festus Akindele? Let's worship him, let's honor him because he's a faithful God 
Um, righteous God, somebody lift a voice and just thank him. Lift a voice and worship him. Lift a voice and praise him. Lift a voice and honor Jesus for what he's doing in your life, in your home, in your family. Exhort him. Just thank him. From the beginning of this year, you are alive. You're able to witness this day. Let's lift our voice and just appreciate the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we give all the praise. Can somebody say that amen very well? Let's have a seat quickly. I'm not going to preach. Tonight is to praise God and to worship him. That's what we're going to do. Praise the Lord. And that's what we are here for tonight. And also, the same thing we're going to do on the 24th of this month or so. We're going to be here also to give our praise to God. Just to sing. No, not 24. On the 20, 30, 30 of this month. The last the last Thursday of the month and also the last Friday. I know everybody you are looking on to, um, you are looking forward for the last Friday of the month because you believe that very day, that's the last day of the month, of the year. Let me talk to God about my life. There's nothing bad in that. It's very good. Um, that's your belief. But I believe you can talk to God throughout from the beginning to the end. But also, if you have that mindset, you just want to be in God's presence. On the 31st, some people have that mind to be in the club, do that kind of stuff. But um, but you choose to be. But on that very, t on the 30th of this month, also, which is the last Thursday of this year, we're going to come up so again to give God the praise. And why we have to do this? Because Bible encourages us to do that. Hallelujah. Bible encourages us to do that. I'm not here to preach. We're going to sing, and that's what we want to do, just to open our heart to God. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 says, he said, Lord, you are my God. Everybody say that. Lord, you are my God. I will exhort you and I will praise your name. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. That's what we are reading. Hallelujah. <laughs> Look, I want everybody to read. Oh Lord, that are my God, I will exhort thee, and I will praise thy name, for thou hast been done wonderful things, and thou cancels of old, art faithful and truth. Hallelujah. You see, faithfulness and what? And truth. Hallelujah. The cancel of old, are faithfulness and truth. Praise the Lord. You see, thou, O oh God, my God, you will personalize it for yourself that you are my God. When you let it be the God of your life, there's no failure. Disappointment is far away from you. When let God be the God of your life, great things will begin to happen for you. Listen, there's no success without God. You can say, many people can say, it, I know people that don't believe God. I know people that don't know God and their life is blessed. They are doing great things in life. Listen, go to them and ask them. Go move closer to them and ask them. And ask them, please tell me about your life. They will have something to say. Don't let, it, don't let things fool you. Don't let the media fool you. When you see people on the TV, you say, I want to be like that man. I want my life. It's good for you to be there. But something is going on in their life. Personally, when someone don't have God, when someone don't have God in their life, there's failure is certain. No matter the money, money is not all. No matter the fame, no matter everything in life they possess in life, failure is certain. Hallelujah. I, I know. The Bible told me what profit a man that gained the whole world and lose his own soul. So the soul of man is so precious as anything in life. He said, oh Lord, thou God, thou art my God, and I will exhort thee. When you exhort him, he put the blessing upon your life. When you exhort him, he leads you. When you exhort him, he turns the story of your life around. I want you to have that mindset of praising him, of worship him, of thanking him, of giving that praise to God. Let that God be that God for you today. Hallelujah. Let that God be that God in your life today. 
Let that God be that God over your children today. Let that God be that God over your family and everything that you are doing. Let it be that your God. Hallelujah. I've never seen from Genesis to Revelation, I've never seen anyone that God forsake. He said, I've never seen the righteous that beg for bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as you praise this God, and let it be the God over everything. You will see his hand over your life. Listen, it is good to praise him. It is good to worship him. He knows why. Let me tell you why. Because he knows tomorrow. Hallelujah. We can sing, we can dance, we can praise God. Let me assure you, you don't know tomorrow. Even though you don't know what is going to happen at 12 midnight. But in him, in this God, there is hope for you. Hallelujah. In this God, there is hope for your life. That all shall be well. In this God, there is hope for your future. That all shall be well. In this God, there is hope for your children. There is hope for your family. That all shall be well. Hallelujah. You see, I've never seen the righteous forsaken that his children beg for bread. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that word will be ends to Jesus? That word, that very word is true. That is a righteous man, the one that allowed God to be his God over you, he will never be forsaken. Hallelujah. It's in time of trouble, he will deliver you. Hallelujah. He said, in time of trouble, he will come to rescue your life. This night, as we worship God, as this year is coming to an end, you have a reason to thank him. Listen, many of us sometimes will look at your condition and say, no, I have no cause to praise God. Do you know, some people want to be where you are. Some people want to have what you have today. Hallelujah. As you see that you, you are still trusting God for more, some people are looking at you and say, Lord, if you can just let me be of that brother. Just a little bit. I will thank God. Hallelujah. God has given a great privilege to your life. You have a reason to worship him. As you, as you worship him and thank him, I want you to assure you one thing will come upon you. The blessing will come upon you. Hallelujah. Listen, God knows every of your needs. There's nothing that you want to offer before God that you want to pray to God. I don't know about today. He knows better than you. Praise the Lord. God knows what you need. He knows your needs more than you know. He knows what is good for your life. If I say this is good for me, and God said, no, listen, I know what is good for you. Better than what you think. God knows you more than you yourself. Why? He's your creator. He knows what can fit your life. Many of us are this fit my life, this kind of fit my life. God said, no, no, listen. If I give this to you, you are able to hold it. This is what fits your life. Listen, as you praise the Lord, as you worship him, the blessing is coming upon you. And I pray tonight the blessing of our overflow will rest upon your life today. Say that amen very louder. The blessing of overflow will come upon your children today. Will come upon your family today. From strength to strength you will move from glory to glory, you will move. In the name of Jesus, the blessing of God will follow you. The goodness of God will be your portion. In the name of Jesus, in the land of the living, you will begin to do great. You begin to do good. In the name of Jesus, your future, your future will shine brighter. Your future will shine brighter. In the name of Jesus, every desires of your heart shall be granted. No more deny. 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 Say that amen louder. Say no more deny. Hallelujah. Lastly, Psalm 150 verse 6 says to us, he said, let everything that word, you should do word, are you alive today? What did he say to you? Let everything that what that makes sound that you should do what? Praise the Lord. Some people say, Oh, this kind of instrument don't fit. Oh, this kind of instrument they don't use in the church. Listen, that's not scriptural. So far, that thing can give you a beat. That thing can give you a sound. 
Hallelujah. It's for the word. It's to praise God. Let everything that I've read, everything that can make a sound, everything that can move, the one thing they should do, they should praise the Lord. Rise up on your feet. If truly you can make a sound, if truly you can move, he said one thing to you, that your life begin to praise him. Listen, praising God, not only is what we are doing today is just a half of it, but the major thing about it is about our life. Hallelujah. The good things that God did from us is our very life, our daily life. Our life, our social life, our private life, our public life, that one thing should do to praise him. Even though when we honor him with our lips and our heart far away from him, is not good enough. But when we honor him with our lips, our lips and our heart is moving closer to him, is good enough for God. Let your life begin to praise him today. Let your life be that life of a living sacrifice. As we praise him, as we worship him, as we are going out today, your life will never remain the same. Say that amen louder. Something new will begin to happen for you. Listen to one thing. If you have never known Jesus, I would like you to introduce him to you. I believe I, everyone have known him. Whether you are born as a Christian, that's not a good thing, but you must know him personally. There's not one that is good than this Jesus. There's no one on this earth. He said, it's in him. There is no sin. Hallelujah. I want to introduce him to you. You can talk to him. He knows you. He knows more than you. He knows who you are. And also he wants to be the friend of you. As you let him be the Lord of your life, you begin to see a great transformation in your life. I pray that Jesus will come into your heart. When he knocked the dogs of your heart today, please open that door of, of your heart for him. And he begin to lead you. And light will shine upon you more. Hallelujah. Now pray this prayer before we go. Say Lord. Let my life begin to praise you. You know one thing. When your life praise him. The blessing is going to follow. When your life. Your life praise him. You will not live your life in disappointment. Your life will not end in failure. I wanted to assure you, I can guarantee you that 100% it works when your life praise him. Ask for that grace tonight that let my life begin to praise you. Lord, let my life begin to worship you. Lord, help me, oh God. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. And now, there's one thing that's happened in the scripture. Solomon praised him that very, that very day. At midnight, God himself showed up for him. And he told him, what do you want me to do for you? And he made his, he made his request known to God. Now, as you are tonight, what do you want God to do for you? Ask God for what you need. This is your moment to receive from the Lord. Ask God for what you need. Lord, this is what I want you to do for me. This is what I want. I want to thank you. I want to praise you. If you can do this for me, oh God. As I praise you, let this blessing come upon me. Let this glory shine in my life. Father, ask that you answer every request tonight. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name, we lift our voice. Let it be unto you according to voice, according to your word of your mouth. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. I welcome everyone that's here tonight. God bless you. Praise, praise the Lord. We can have our seat. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor. I also like to welcome those that are for, uh, fellowshiping with us for the first time. So if today is your first time stepping here, those that are fellowshiping with us for the first I know you did your assignment, right? You invited people. If it's your first time, can you signify by raising your hand? Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. 
choir, let us welcome them. Thank you for coming. Step into this place, you will know it for signs and wonders in Jesus' name. And I pray every long standing problem in your life, the Lord will bring it down flat in the name of Jesus. He said, What is that mountain before Zerubbabel? It shall become as plain. And as you step in here, we agree with you. whatever it is, whatever the mountain is, it has become as plain, even right now in Jesus' name. Praise, praise the Lord. If you don't have, you know, uh, church, you can come with us on Sundays. We open at 10 a.m. We have a Bible study. We have a Sunday school. This is a family church. You're welcome to join us. And uh, ushers, please, can you give them some other information? Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Like I said, we are warming up. We are what? We are warming up. And I see that some of us are already losing up a little bit. But this frontier is open. Is what? It's open. It's open. So it's like funny on your side. It's not giving you the ginger that you want, like not getting into it. Because they say when we do enter what? Body. When, you're, when we do enter your body, you will shake. Shake. Come on and leave that person alone and come here. And come what? Come here. It's open. It's free. Open. Yes. All right, smiling. Yes, that's how I am. You know me. It's open, so I'm not the only crazy one in the house. We have some other ones, you know, that like to exercise, you know, and, you know, just dance. So what I'm trying to say is that the house is free. Don't be tight. Open up. Open up. Open up. Praise the Lord. So our next minister is a friend of the house. He's been here before. He's been here all the way from New York. Shall we all rise up? Shall we all rise up and welcome Minister Wiley? Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Just talking to the living. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Victorious children, continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Tell him he's the King of Kings. Tell him he's the Lord of Lords. Internal Rock of Ages. The beginning and the end. The Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Boom boy, delay just say. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Continue to jam those hands to Jesus. Let him understand that is the reason for your existence. Let him understand that without him. You are nothing. Let him understand that without him you are empty. Let him know that is the reason why you are alive. In the midst of the pandemic, it's because of him. So I don't want you to stand. I don't want you to just stand and you know be sluggish. Emma Kagwagwa. That's what my uh, um from my states in Ondo Town. That means don't just stand like uh, something just happens. You are in the presence of God. So you have to show that you are actually in the presence of God. How many people here is ready to receive? How many people here is ready to receive? How many people here is ready to receive? You know the only way you can receive is
praise by giving. And what are you giving? You are giving God your praise. You are giving God your what? Your praise. You are giving him your worship. The Bible says, by my God, I run through a true. By my God, I leap over every wall. If you are ready to leap, to, to leap over every wall, shout hallelujah. Who is ready to praise God? Who is ready to watch God? Mm -hmm. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Oh, wonderful. You are worthy, oh, Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh, Lord. We give you glory. We give you glory, Lord. Yes, we are. Please help me sing that song that you actually honor Jesus. Do you really honor him?
There is nothing, there is no one like you. We say there is nothing, there is no one like you. Arriba, yeah, oh. There is nothing, there is no one like you. Who's ready to dance? Are we ready to dance? Kilo day. Are we ready to dance? Ginger, now there's no darling in the house of God. Are we ready to dance? Are we ready to dance? Are you ready now? No man can see the end of your words. Come and see what the Lord has done. 
before the darkness is blue. Out of the ashes we rise, there's no one like you. Don't like you. Into the ashes we rise. the ashes we rise, there's no one like you. No one like you. By your grace, just continue to give God the praise, give God the adoration, give God the praise, give God the adoration, 
Give God the praise. Give God the adoration. Give God the praise. Give God the adoration. There's this song. I love this song so much because of the lyrics. It says, O pato dara ju gogo aye lo Inyere le nu mi koni duro That song means Because you are so good My praise, I mean your praise Would always be in my mouth O pato dara ju gogo aye lo Inyere le nu mi koni duro Kini money to fish and no me. Tani me to fit dami lola. Kini moje to fit kwa mi leo. Inyore le no me koni duro. Ani oba to dara ju gogo aye lo. Inyore le no me koni duro. continually increase you my brother wow it's just like it shouldn't stop just keep going wow thank God may the Lord increase your anointing in the name of Jesus thank you for being a vessel thank you thank you thank you God bless you praise praise the Lord praise the Lord in the house of God, there is fullness of joy. There is fullness of joy. You know, I want you to attach, and I don't know why this is coming. As Pastor has said, that we should bring, we should uh, ask him something. And since this is something that's continue, I mean, our uh, annual program, I think you should attach something to it. Yes. Because by this time next year, there's going to be a testimony session. There's going to be, I don't know why some of you are here, but I know you are here for a reason. When the praises come down, blessings come up to it. We've been thanking God, you know, for some weeks now. The month of Thanksgiving, uh, the month of November has been thanking, thanking, and even to the end of the year. And that was prophetic. It was under the obedience of our prophetic assignment that we had to do that. And we are not just doing it for just nothing. So that is why I said, as you are here, attach something to it. What is that thing that you want? What is that thing that you've been seeking for a long time? You know, I know there's time for praying and fasting, but there's also time when we praise him. It says the walls of Jericho fall down fast. And the children of Israel, when they were praising God. So don't take this time for granted. Don't do what? Take this time for granted. Because in the presence of God, there is liberty. Chains are broken. Bonds are being loosed right now. The Lord is going to foundations. He's going to generations and breaking every causes. So don't take it for granted. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. I just want to thank everyone that has been involved, you know, in this program in one way or the other. You know, praying, fasting, preparing uh, instruments. People that have been working in the background, you know, coming to rehearsals. One way or the other, we just appreciate you. We pray that the Lord will reward you. The Lord will, the Lord will reward you richly beyond your imaginations in the name of Jesus. Even for the choir director, for his relentless efforts, you know. I pray that the Lord will take you higher and higher in the name of Jesus. 
Praise, praise the Lord. So we are not done yet. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Are you, are you ready to go home? Don't tell me, say, we're not tired. <laughs> tell your neighbor, say, I am not tired. We're not tired. Yes, we're not tired. We are not tired. Shall we all put our hands together for the victorious voices? Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please can we all stand up? Can we wave our hands to Jesus? If you know you are light in the land of living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please, before the wash, before the praise, I'll just take one worship, please. Hila ola she, ola rumi. Hila ola she, hila ola she, ola rumi. Hila ola she, ehiti eda. I hear to kill all the shame, kill the shame, all all Lori aye te mimbi e ka jesu lo e ti e da aye atorun ki le o le shi ki le o le shi olorun mi ki le o le shi hallelujah please i can go to the altar in my own belief, I believe that the altar is meant for men. So please manage me here. I just have like five minutes to sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. And be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I 
Lord be upon you. The grace of God be upon your life. In the name of Jesus, the blessing of God will follow you as you give your offering. And to them, I want to continue dancing. Dance and dance in God's presence. And to them, I want to that you are ready. This is next step to take home. God bless you. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made.
Praise the Lord. I just want to tell everybody that you are here that your praise has been received before the Lord. I pray that the blessing of God will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. 2022 that you are looking forward to shall be a year of blessing for you. A year of great reward for your life. 2022 shall be a year of great reward. Listen very well. I say it again. 2022 shall be a year of a great reward. There have been, there have been many things that's going to happen that very year. But that year is going to be a great reward. For the children of God, you're going to receive. That year shall be a great year, a great reward for the children of God. I pray you will receive your reward in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father, for what you have done for us. Thank you, Jesus, for your great things. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this privilege to come to worship you. That it will return all the glory back to you. Let the praise and let your glory follow your people in the name of Jesus so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. I just want to welcome everyone that you are here today. Today is your first time. Those that are here, I welcome the choir. Say thank you very much. Also the director. Everyone that is here, every members. I just want to say thank you very much for gathering together in God's presence. And I pray that the one that we are looking forward to, which is the one in heaven, that we're going to be with Jesus, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. And I just put in mind this Sunday, our service, let us be here on time by 10, and also our service by 11. And also the same thing, on the 20, on the, what do I say 20? On the 30, the last Thursday of this month, we are coming together just to praise God, and also the last Friday of the month, and also to give praise to God. The same Something great is going to happen in your life. Don't worry that promotion, you're going to receive it in Jesus' name. Say that amen. amen. Say that amen. amen. Say that amen. amen. Make sure you just take your snacks before you go. I know to go home and cook again, you know. And so you can just manage that and just and, uh, manage that before you go home. Hallelujah. And I know that Lord Jehovah God will do great in our life in Jesus' name. Let us rise upon our feet and share the grace together. But the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and his faithful flesh for the Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy. Hallelujah. Look at me very well. Let me, let me, ask, let me tell you one thing. Look at your bag if you're a lady. Look into your hand. Look into your hand. It's going to be the word of God for your life. You're going to look at it. And look at it very well. Tell me what you are holding in your hand. If you know how to say it, tell me what you are holding in your hand. That means prophesy what you are holding in your hand. I'm holding blessing. I'm holding my child. I'm holding my new job. I'm holding my financial breakthrough. Tell me what you are holding in your hand. Success. Say it, say it. You are prophesying. Now, put those things in your pocket. Put those things in your bag. Let that blessing go with you. And let that blessing be part with you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Shout that big hallelujah. That big hallelujah. Big hallelujah. Shout that 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 big hallelujah. We are blessed in Jesus' name. God bless everyone.